Hello, Princess family. This is Norman Love. Welcome to my kitchen. You know, I thought it would be a great idea to possibly make a couple of my all-time favorites. Who doesn't like chocolate chip cookies? Who doesn't love warm, fudgy chocolate brownies? Have you ever had them put together? It's called a brookie. And I'd really like to share two really delicious recipes that you can easily make at home and enjoy with your entire family. So let's jump right into this. We're gonna start with the brownies. The brownies, dark chocolate brownies, super important to remember, always use good fresh ingredients. Keep in mind, if you use quality ingredients, you're gonna always get a delicious quality result. We're gonna start with fresh eggs, flour, all-purpose flour, some cane granulated sugar, and some chocolate and butter. As for the chocolate, this is a 61%. So in other words, it's kind of a semi-sweet, borderline, bittersweet chocolate. And keep in mind, good quality chocolate, great result, especially in a fudgy brownie. We're gonna start by melting together 22 ounces of chocolate with six ounces of sweet, creamy butter. As you can see, I've melted both the chocolate and the butter together. And you can see they're well homogenized, they're well incorporated to with each other. We next jump into a little mixer, if you have a, a stand-up mixer, or if you have a hand blender, both will work beautifully. We start with our whole eggs, this is fresh eggs, 10 ounces of fresh eggs. I'm going to add our sugar, which is 14 ounces of granulated sugar. And using the whisk attachment, we want to incorporate air into the mixture. It's called ribbon, where it's going to get very pale in color and the mixture is going to thicken. While that's mixing, I have scaled all-purpose flour, five ounces, one ounce of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Now look at this beautiful mixture. You can see you can see the, mi the mixture has gotten thick. It's ribboning. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to incorporate the chocolate and butter mixture into the eggs. And this is one of the reasons why the mixture needs to be somewhat warm. If the mixture is too cold and you add it to a cold egg and sugar mixture, you obviously is going to set up and coagulate, start to get hard inside the egg mixture. So it's very important that the mixture is nice and warm. And you can see using a rubber spatula, it's called folding, where we're folding the mixture carefully into each other. Last but not least is a well-sifted all-purpose flour with your baking powder, and we're gonna slowly fold that into the mixture. Little by little, don't dump it all at once because it has a tendency to lump. So you see I'm going from the bottom to the top, I'm turning the bowl, I'm twisting my wrist in order to properly, lightly fold the dry ingredient into the, the wet ingredients. Now I'm going to add the rest and carefully, carefully folding the mixtures together. Now if you're brownies, you prefer to put nuts, have at it, walnuts, pecans, almonds, even chocolate chips if you'd like a little extra fudgy chocolate within your brownie. That last ingredient before we go to the refrigerator is nice, delicious, one of my very favorite flavors in all of pastry, vanilla extract. And that's going to, the vanilla is going to help to accentuate some of that chocolate flavor. It's always complementary to the brownies. It's going to create another layer of flavor and one of my favorites. Wow, it smells terrific. We then pour this into the bowl, and you can place this into your refrigerator, cover with plastic wrap, for about 20 to 30 minutes. And this will help for that very, very loose and soft mixture to slowly thicken and get to a consistency that we would be able to scoop with an ice cream scoop. Now that wasn't too hard. I think all of you could absolutely do this. You can get creative with making brownies, but the first step in making a delicious brookie was to make this brownie mixture that we're now going to place into the refrigerator for up to 30 minutes. 
So now that the, the, bro the brownies are cooling, I'd like to make the chocolate chip cookies. Now these chocolate chip cookies certainly don't have to be added to a brookie. They can be just eaten just as they are. We start with brown sugar and beautiful sweet cream, fresh butter. And we want to cream that. Always start on a, on a slow, um, slow mixer so that you don't shoot everything all over. And as it begins to incorporate, and this is called the creaming method. We want to cream the butter and the sugar together to a very smooth, homogenized paste. We're going to slowly, slowly add our eggs, which is only about three ounces of eggs. And we want to add them slowly to make sure that the sugar and butter creamed mixture is absorbing them well. I have also vanilla extract, very, very important. I have salt and flour that have been sifted. We're going to add that to our mixture. And we want to bring the mixture entirely together. You don't want to overmix it. So just until the mixture comes together, stop. Now we have, oh my goodness, semi-sweet chocolate chunks that we've chocolate that we've chopped up that creates such a beautiful taste. And as you can see, always generously adding chocolate because there's never enough chocolate in those chocolate chip cookies. And we again start slowly and just continue to mix until everything is incorporated and that's it. It's that fast. You can now scoop these cookies, you can drop them by spoon, you can do all kinds of things, bake them just as they are. You can add nuts to them, a cup of pecans or walnuts, whatever you like. And this is how simple this is. You just take a scoop, you level the scoop off, and you scoop it right onto a piece of parchment paper or a silk hat, which are available in a lot of gourmet stores, is a silicone mat that's a non-sticking surface that has made baking super easy at home. And it's done just like that. We bake these, if you're baking just the chocolate chip cookies, in a 350 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're golden brown. We're now going to assemble our brookie. What a great combination. Again, brownies and chocolate chip cookies. What you want to do is just spray a little pan grease inside, a non-stick mixture. And then we take some of that delicious brownie mixture, as you can see how thick it's gotten from the refrigerator. And I'm putting it in a pastry bag. If you don't have a pastry bag, you can use a baggie, put some in, zip lock it, and cut the end. You can use that, or you can use an ice cream scoop. They both work beautifully. I guess I'm used to over the years of using pastry bags. It's a little easier for me. So I'm gonna take a disposable pastry bag and I'm going to pipe some of that brownie mixture into the bottom of my, of my paper cup. If you're using a scoop, just scoop right in the center like that. The next, we take our chocolate chip cookies and we just press that straight down in the center, all the way down using a, a cast iron skillet and a scoop, just press your scoop just inside and give it a little swirl so that it evenly distributes in the pan. Everything to the oven, 350 degrees for about 30 minutes or so. And what comes out are these beautiful combination of chocolate chip cookie and brownies called brookies. They're delicious served warm. You can put a scoop of ice cream on them or just enjoy them alone. You can see some of the beautiful results of cast iron skillets with our brookies, our individual brookies. Hey, how about individual chocolate chip cookies? So delicious. One of my favorite ice cold milk, warm, fudgy, gooey chocolate chip cookies certainly can be eaten alone. Uh, by themselves or in the brookie, or you can spread that brownie mixture into a rectangular baking pan and bake brownies for the kids to enjoy as well. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a little bit about baking. Mm.